Hello, you wonderful humans, and welcome back to Timberborn. The previous episode, or live stream, we had begun expansion on a major beaver project. We are actually having a lot of trouble maintaining water with how large our beaver civilization has gotten. So our goals right now is to actually not only flood an entire new zone, but drastically increase our water holding capabilities. So I've created two new districts here. We've got the, the district of Notre Dame or Dam. It's Notre Dame, which is beautiful. And then we've got this district, which we haven't named yet. So we need some names from the chat uh, to actually figure out what we're going to name this. I kind of want this to kind of be like the gambling district. Unfortunately, we don't have gambling. But our beavers right now are working and building these uh, levees right here, which should hold the water back through here. So I'm hoping that we can flood all of this, create a nice big pond here. Then we'll create housing district up here. And then our main goal is to unlock explosives today to start building Beaverly Hills over here. And what we need to do for Beaverly Hills is we're going to build another massive dam right here with tons of like turbines and stuff like that for power. We're going to have like all of our uh, manufacturing up top and we'll have housing and everything through Beaverly Hills. We're going to make this area beautiful. But the main goal right now is actually transferring many of our workers over to this area to build out uh, this here. I'm hoping that beavers and explosives actually work together well. It's a pretty dangerous game. I don't know if it's gonna go well or if it's gonna go terribly. We got a lot of things going on. I'm hoping that we survive the next drought. We've got 950-ish water saved up right now. And then we basically need a lot of planks for the rest of these and we should be able to finish this relatively quickly. We just need these guys to finish as fast as humanly possible. Someone just died of thirst? Who dare die of thirst? I have literally all of the water. Literally, literally all of the water. What are you doing? Go drink some water, you heathen. <gasps> That's why. Oh, Christ. I did it again. Go. Work. I forgot to put... <laughs> I forgot to assign these beavers to a water job. <laughs> I've, that's the second time I've done that. All right, so we need to migrate two adults back to Notre Dame. And one of them needs to go work in here, which is Moloch. Moloch is going to get water. Oh, they're finally hauling metal. Oh my God, it's happening. Yes. Need that so badly. Where are they taking that metal right now? Oh, it does take scrap metal to build. The shredder does. Seven day drought. We have a lot of water. I think we'll be okay. Also, this is apparently adjustable. So how does this adjust? Synchronize with adjacent floodgates. Set it to... That's so cool how that works. That is awesome. Because what we need to do is when this ends, we need to make sure or when the drought ends, we need to make sure this floods first before we go block it all off, right? Or we could potentially all die. Five days left of the drought. And they are about to complete phase one of the ultra terraforming beaver project. Then we just need to find a way to lock all the water in. I kind of want to put another layer up here to get it too high. I feel like a too high levee would be a pretty decent idea. This has been a four-hour project. Oh, look, it's already starting to spread. Just because we're getting the water to raise a little bit. Oh, wow, look at that. That's interesting. Oh, look at it starting to flood everything already. <gasps> it's working! It's begun! Oh, my God. I, you love it when a plan comes to fruition. Now, the real question is, will the water stop here? <laughs> you can see it coming already. And the beavers on the other side of this wall are just like, please, beaver Jesus. <laughs> please. <laughs> we have not built an ark. We do not have Noah beaver yet. 
Look at this beautiful lake we're gonna have, though. All of those trees are gonna be underwater. All those, all of that resource is gonna be underwater, which is a little unfortunate. So this should start filling this up completely. And then once this is full, the water should take the path of least resistance, which means going over our dam, I think. I even planned this perfectly too. I'm proud of myself. <laughs> that worked out splendidly. Four carrots. Slight problem, though. We don't seem to be getting enough water to fill up farther. Oh, thank you, Yol Yolanda. Hope you're well, Super Titan Commuter. Just been wondering, is there a Justin Beaver in the house? Yes, there is. We ha we named one Justin Beaver in the last stream. <laughs> Good old Justin Beaver. He may have died, though. A lot of people have died. To be fair. Up more. I think it's just taking time to fill up. I mean, we did flood like a higher area. It's very hard to tell. Okay, no, it's definitely filling this up. It's just taking a long time. It's like filling up a pool, but very slowly. I'm glad we added that extra layer because we would be getting flooded out and dead right now if I didn't. Yep, we, <laughs> we would have had all of our beavers screaming and running for the hills. We would have killed everybody. All right, right about now is when this should start flowing over. Beautiful. A perfectly executed plan. Oh, it is, however, starting to flood right there, which is a bit of a... Maybe not a good idea. Oh! 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 Oh, no! Ah! No! Run for it, beavers! No! Oh, God! Sorry! Sorry, sorry, sorry! I don't know how the dam works! My bad! Oh. They're all working in the wrong spots. Get to work. Y'all need some food. You're going to die and starve. Uh, then what we're going to need here is we're going to need a distribution post. Absolutely. Hangry beavers. We're going to have the hangry, hangry beavers here. <laughs> Instead of the angry beavers, it's to the hangry, hangry beavers. All right, let's give this a test, shall we? We would like to let some water in here without killing everybody, please. <laughs> Sweet baby Jesus, we did it. Especially to expand, there's like a ton you need to manage, especially with water management. Like that's something that you don't typically have to deal with in a civilization building game. We have so much wheat. Find a good way to turn that all into bread. We definitely don't need to import water here. I mean, look at all this water. Oh, you know what we should be doing? Oh, we need cogs for all this. We need to import cogs. <gasps> a carousel? And a temple? Oh my god, a beaver temple? Oh yes. Gimme. <gasps> it's beautiful. <laughs> and a beaver carousel? Yes. How does, what does this look like? Oh my god. Does it need power? <laughs> is it beaver powered? What is this? <laughs> oh, this is going to be great. All right, we got to we gotta build the car. Oh man, it takes... Never mind, we can't build that yet. It takes way too many resources that we do not have.
Well, it turns out this drought is uh, a lot worse than I anticipated. We actually have used up all of our reserves here. And it's not it's not looking great. I mean, we have 0.7 days left, uh, but I haven't been able to get any of our water wheels moving. So we really need to revamp this whole area. So I'm starting to build up higher walls here. I'm going to move everything around and start getting more water storage through here and allowing us to be able to change things up quite a bit. And we're stocking up on dynamite finally. We've got 11 dynamite, which I can then use to dig this stuff deeper and even build a large well or something over here. My plan right now, since we're having a lack of power, I've noticed that the droughts, since they're getting longer and crazier, that having the water wheels as our main source of power is not always the best idea. So what I want to do, I think it's going to work really well, is if we build like a massive windmill farm here, since this is pretty much an arid desert, my master plan is coming to fruition. Thankfully, we're actually building these windmills really quickly. We have got a total supply of 624 power supply now. So I've started building a bunch of these grist mills here so we can actually start utilizing this almost 2,000 wheat that we have to make bread because we have not been able to keep our little bread making area over here doing anything for like the longest time. I figure I'll start using utilizing some of this land for some uh, wheat grinding as well. But these large windmills are actually really, really good. It took a while, but I, I had a big brain moment. I was having so much trouble since I put the dam up to get these to work. And then I realized, you know, I don't need to actually synchronize each of these uh, uh, floodgates. I can use them individually. So I've actually set three of them to be at height 1.5 and the rest of them at height two. And that allows like a perfect flow of water outside of our reservoir. And the reservoir stays full, the water flows through, and all of our uh, wind or water wheels actually work. It's, it's pretty great. Uh, that being said, our windmills work very well, aside from the fact that they don't work at all when it's uh, not windy. So, but on the grand scheme of things, we have made a ton of progress. I mean, we made a whole new district. Uh, we made a reservoir and a housing district as well, which we can actually now build up and start getting some more beaver babies in. And I think this is a good place to stop. I am hoarding dynamite, but we're going to use all of that dynamite to create beaverly hills in the next video or stream. Um, so that's, that's going to be our goal. We're going to hoard maybe about 200 dynamite. We're going to start getting our beavers through here. We're going to blow a hole through this and start filling up this reservoir. We're going to build a dam and we're going to start getting Beaverly Hills built.